Hi guys, welcome back. And today we will be looking at the view binding in Android Studio, which came in Android Studio 3.6.0, and why you should be using view binding instead of find view by ID. At the end of this video, you'll get to know why. And without any further ado, let's get started. So let's jump into the official documentation. So basically, what view binding is, uh, consider you have an XML layout. Uh, which has a linear layout as its root and then that will contain say a couple of children uh, such as a button and a text view so when you have view binding enabled in your build or gradle of your app level build or gradle uh, when you have it enabled it will or the android studio will automatically generate binding classes for every xml layout right and it will have references of each and every children of the xml layout say of the linear layout which we took the example uh, inside that there were supposed to be like two one button and a text view right so the binding class which will be generated for that xml layout will have references of that button and the text field so you can directly instantiate the bind binding class which was generated and you can put a dot on that object and access the button and text view instead of say or else what we would have done is you would have gone with find view by id which brings a lot of boilerplate and exceptions right if you misspell the ids or something like that so they say that view binding is a feature that allows you to more, e write, more easily write code that interacts with view once view binding is enabled in the model, it generates binding class for each XML layout present in that module. An instance of binding class contains direct references to all views that have an ID, the corresponding layout. One thing to note is, uh, if say the children do not have an ID, uh, the references of them will not be present in the binding class generated. So the children, like the views inside that layout has to have valid ids right or else their references wouldn't be present so as they say they officially mention that uh, view binding replaces find view by id in most cases so let's get started and uh, let's make a project with view binding enabled and let's make a small project out of it so that we get to know what goes in uh, and we'll be creating an empty activity the name say view bind demo and i'll be using java over here and special things i'll keep it as default so it'll create a project for us so to enable view binding first of all you should have the gradle version 3.6 right this is very much important so you can't use view binding in the older versions of the gradle uh, so first thing we need to check is we'll go to the gradle scripts and uh, please note that you'll have to go to the app level cradle uh, you come over here and okay here you'll have to add the this one uh, the dependency like enabled equals true but before that you need to go to your project level cradle to check that your version is like should be greater than 3.6.0 or else you, you won't like get to work with view binding right so make sure that you have that if you don't uh, change that and sync your project and come back so i hope you guys are having greater version greater than 3.6.0 and let's get started okay so here we will do view binding enabled equals true right so what this will do is this will get view binding to our project like our project will support view binding so from now on say whatever we have the layouts have activity main xml so from now on whatever we do there will be a binding class generated okay uh, the latest update they have changed the ui of this a bit so here we have i'll delete everything so basically what we'll be doing is we'll basically do a button and a text view on the click of the button the counter increment so we will be using a linear layout and this linear layout will have a bit which is match parent and it will have height height is also match parent and these two and this will have 
we didn't mention the orientation it will be vertical and then it will have a gravity of center we'll have many own children so uh, let's keep the gravity as center and close the tag over here i'm sorry okay this should close the tag and then okay so we will have <coughs> two children uh, so know that when you have created this uh, for the activity main xml layout uh, when you keep on like building xml layout uh, the and studio will automatically create references when you give ids right so by now there will be a binding class generated called as activity main xml and act, i mean activity main binding i know that when binding class are created it just takes the whole name and converts it into camel case and appends binding say for example in this it will be activity main binding something like that the class name will go like that so over here we will have a text view and the width will be wrap content and wrap content we'll just have a integer value over there okay then after that we'll close this and for this we need to have a text mm, we'll define text in the resource values so we will have a string the name will be text value you can even hard code it but i find this comfortable so we will basically have zero nothing else for now so over here <coughs> over here we will get that text value and so this should be wrap content and let's increase the text size say 40 sp okay and let's bring it to the center so this should make it the center okay now um this should come in center right so we'll do gravity as center they should yeah this body to center okay okay now we have a text view and we will give it an id and over here our binding class will create a reference for this this will be uh, a result text right so we'll keep it like this so this will be the id for our text view and now uh, the binding class will generate a reference it's called as text as a result text and we will make a button and this button will wrap content and wrap content and then we will put a test text over here not text size it will be text and that text will be say we will define one string that will be btn name and it will be increment counter right so we will use this over here okay so we got that so this is our small ui okay we'll keep some margin over here margin bottom say 20 dp okay now it looks better now it looks better so there's our button we will put some margin over here margin top this margin top okay we will give 20 dp over here so now we will go to our main activity and in main activity so usually what you do is you create two views right button and text view and call find view by id but we will not be using that we will use activity activity binding main binding so see this has already been generated for us and we will create an object out of that so then uh, we will set content view by using this only so before we do that we need to get the into instantiate right so to instantiate we will be using a static method uh, from the class which the from the binding class which is nothing but the inflate method so what inflate method will take is inflate method will take an inflator right so we'll get the inflator get layered inflator which will get the layered inflator for us 
and then we need to get the root view so in this activity what is our root view our root view is nothing but the linear layout right so we will get that uh, say view okay view is not had been imported let's import that and uh, this is we will call sick okay so we can call get root to get the root view of that xml layout so we will get the linear layout and then now we need to call the set content view with this and not with find view by as as we won't be using our dot id and all that we will replace this with our view so hopefully this should work let's run our app and check if we have the static ui it's building and after that let's run that okay uh, so so in the official documentation they have they have mentioned one more thing so if you don't want binding class to be generated in for your xml layout you can just put this attribute at, at true to this property view binding ignore to your layout so that binding class won't be generated and as we have used the usage over here say for example you have a layout file called as result profile.xml and there will be a class created result profile binding and say if this class has two views text view and button like which we have and they have ids corresponding to name and button and so what will happen is text view called name and button called button so there are two views right two fields and uh, the image view in the layout has no id okay so what they're telling is uh, there is no id for this view and there won't be a reference created for that view except that view there will be two more views a reference to two more views in the binding class there is no reference in the binding class for image view that's what they are telling and they have also given the get root method uh, which will provide a direct reference to your root view so that you can call it like weighted over here get root and then you can set that view set content view okay our uh, app has been built and let's check it out i'll run the app so next what we'll be doing is okay they have also mentioned about the inflate method uh, so the inflate method can be used uh, to create an instance of the binding class like how we did over here so we have created an instance of the class binding class we call the inflate method and okay, so we have our app it does nothing so what we'll have to do is we will have to create an integer on the click of this we'll increment the integer and set the text back on so we will have an integer say count which will be equal to zero initially and now uh, we will be having okay so we need to get the reference to the button right so how do we get the reference so we are not using find view by id anymore but instead we will use the binding object which we created and see now okay there is only result text because we didn't give uh, we didn't give an id for the button so we need to give an id by this we can see that if you don't give an id there won't be say btn so there won't be a reference created and the reference came as soon like asap it came uh, so now we'll be calling that and then we'll be calling on click on that on click listener and this will take an interface new uh, view dot on click listener and here we will be implementing our on click logic so what we'll be doing is so first we'll increment the counter say count plus plus so now it will be one and now we should call the set text method so for that we need to get a reference that will do by this result text dot see how easy it is as you can see uh, there's no more of the boilerplate find view by id and all that stuff and now okay set text takes a string but we have an integer so we need to do something right so we need to convert we need to convert that integer into string java provides auto boxing right which will convert our integer so this is how we'll be doing the counter will come over here it's an integer so string has a string class has a function which will convert integer to string and then that will go to the set text method 
which will be referring to our result text which is an id in xml file for the text view so that will set text will set that text to this so everything all the magic happens with the binding object right so let's test it out hopefully this works and let's build our app and let's test it by giving a rebuild to make sure that no errors occur so as you can see there are no boilerplate codes at all like you don't have to define your own buttons and text text and all that text views and all that stuff so we have it here so when i click on this increment counter installation successful it says okay build successful okay as you can see when i click on this counter the text view is getting updated right so it's pretty fast and it's pretty clean as you can see the code is pretty clean there is no boilerplate at all like find view by id will be dead soon trust me this is the approach you are like supposed to use and it will help you a lot as a programmer and as a developer it will help you a lot so at the end of the day what they mean to say is difference from find view by id so there are a lot of advantages uh, when you compare with find view by id so the main thing is boilerplate like we have been talking and one more thing is null safety say for example you have misspelled your id name while calling the find view by id so the object which we will be calling on will have null on it and your app will crash right and one more is type safety say you remember whenever you don't like type cast uh, on find view by id when you're calling it on a button say when you're calling it on a button and you don't type cast it to a button there will be an exception right and the app will crash so you can like ignore all this if you use like you won't come across all these errors if you use view binding so view binding and that's about like that was about view binding stay tuned and until then see you in the next one